I look... I look beautiful! Not ridiculous in the least. Hello, people. Welcome back. Have, hope you're having a nice Sunday morning, right? Easy, easy like Sunday morning. Playing a little bit more galactic science. The moment, the moment I start to record, my fridge starts making, making all sorts of fridge noises. Fridge. It's the future. You'd think we'd have silent, silent fridges by now. Well, welcome to the Venus base. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's got all the trappings of home. It's got a way to get out. Hmm, got some oxygen. That really sucks power. This thing sucks. Like six, six R F a tick. I don't know if I, I talked about it. This thing also sucks. So if you have it constantly set to load, Drains the battery. So I got a little little coal generator here. Got a little bit of coal going on. So I headed back. I think I brought everything I needed to start the quarry. I know I, I said I was going to set it up between last episode and this episode, but I wanted to do it on camera. So went back and built an ender marker, three ender markers, just a little bit of ender infused obsidian, ender pearl, and the QED. Right? Cheap. So super cheap. Super cheap. I feel like ender pearls are the thing that I might have problems with. So I didn't do much more digging because psh, forget about it. I don't even care about digging anymore. Oh, one thing, uh, glowstone. I'm uh, I'm just placing them down without the carpenter's blocks because some bongo uh, commented in the last video. Bongo Tez, bongo Tez commented in the last video. He said, "Hey, uh, carpenter's blocks add a little bit of lag." If that's the case, then I need to go back to my base and get rid of all the carpenter's blocks. I believe, I think on average, there's about four carpenter's blocks with glowstone on each chunk. Multiplied by about four, oh, even more. Four or five chunks per floor. So there's at least a stack, maybe a stack, almost a stack and a half of carpenter's blocks with glowstone on each floor and I probably have like a dozen floors. So that's probably where some lag comes from, right? So just be mindful of that. I don't know if he's telling the truth. He might be lying. I have no idea. Is that coming up or going down? Let's line it up and let's take a little peek. And it's going down. Well, we can still get it set up. So let's look at the chunks and I will show you the way. So get your ender markers, get uh, some kind of block. Doesn't really matter which kind of block. Oh, I brought a rope ladder ladder because I was gonna go explore. Where are they? Over there. I was gonna go explore one of those little blaze things, right? Ender quarry. What was that? What was that? Okay. All right, we're okay. Wait, where did I? Brb. Freaking blind. Anyway, I'll get it set up first. So the chunk loader, like I said, loads one or two chunks. You know what? Let's just let's just do it right here. Let's just get it done right here. So the chunk loader loads one or two chunks at the same time. So let's let's make sure I'm in one chunk. Let's uh, figure out what level I'm on. We're at level 96. So just remember that 96. Plop it down. Click it. Bottom left. It says unable to detect fence boundary. Of course it is. So level 96. Remember that. Let's head all the way this way all the way up that hill. One way to do this as well, but I don't think Buildcraft's in this, right? Buildcraft used to have those markers where you just place them down and then put a, uh, give it a little redstone signal. There we go, good enough. See, oh, see when you place it down and it's correct, gives you a little particle effect. Actually, I don't need this anymore. Yeah, up here. What is that? Is that the moon? Mars has two moons, right? Okay, so let's head this way now. Nope, I forgot to count. Well, worst case is is it doesn't work. 93, 94, 95, 96. Is that lined up? Right about here. Let's place it down. See? Did not work. Oh, it's because we're on 97. Stupid. Right here. Mark? No. No. How about here? No. How about here? Yeah, there we go. Alright. So now, the ender quarry has a valid 
ender mark. I remember when this mod first came out and they didn't have the ender markers. It was you had to make it out of fences. All right. I'm blind. Okay, so we need a couple barrels. We need a chest. We need a coal generator. We need all of the things. Okay. So the top is the output slot, just like um, just like the Buildcraft quarry, right? Output slot. We're going to need power. So I wonder if this is going to work. I think it is. Um, does this thing have an internal buffer? No, it doesn't. You know what I should do? Let's go get the the capacitor because I kind of want to see how much this. Nope. Stupid. Let's go steal the capacitor because I feel like this thing is going to take more than seventy five RF per tick, but only under certain conditions, right? Okay. So normally, um, are you getting power? Oh yeah, so it's getting power. So let's uh, let's freeze you for a second. Disa d disabled, disabled. Okay. So the whole thing is with the Ender Quarry. It has these upgrades. Upgrades I can't really use. One Silk Touch upgrade. It increases the power drain by one and a half times, right? But every block it gets, so it, instead of giving you cobblestone, it'll give you stone, right? Fortune upgrade, instead of giving you coal, instead of giving you coal or no, coal, it'll give you like increased chance of getting higher, more coal, right? Fortune upgrade times two, times three. In my personal opinion, never use the fortune upgrades. Never. Just use silk touch upgrades and then you end up getting stacks on stacks on stacks of coal ore and redstone ore and what have you and then you process it however you want to. Now the speed upgrades are the upgrades you want, right? The max upgrade only increases the drain by t two, but it really speeds it up. I don't know if you can put more on there. Ender pump means all the fluid in the chunks that it's quarrying, it'll destroy. It doesn't actually pump them up. It doesn't suck them out, you know? It destroy. Or does it? You know what? No, I don't remember. I haven't played in such a long time. Now, the world hole upgrade. Again, one I prefer. So. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is against everything that I want. Ow. So. Hmm. So the world hole upgrade. When it starts to dig, it'll start about 10 blocks above here. And you can kind of sometimes see a particle effect. It'll go 10 blocks up. Little purple particle effect just like this. And it'll come all the way down. And it'll scan all the blocks. So it'll scan all the way down to bedrock. And if it's something like not or, it'll leave it alone normally with with the, with the world hole upgrade it'll pick up everything it'll suck up everything doesn't give a shit but i was hoping without the world hole upgrade it'll go oh venus surface rock nope venus surface rock nope venus subsurface rock nope venus rock nope and then only give me the ores that's what i was hoping but it's not doing that it's getting all of this stuff so let's let's just turn it on anyway let's see what's what's going to happen it's, oh my goodness, that's so much power. Look how much power that is. Oh my goodness. Can I, can I, oh, there it is. I'm blind. So toss in some coal. And this is what I was going to do. Oh my god, I hate how everything just doesn't work. Nothing works for me, you know. Do I bring those upgrades with me? Oh, see, little particle effects. And if this is all stuff you guys know, psh deal with it deal with it you know cobblestone let's put you there 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 so now it's very slowly can i max output let's lower you down to 74 rf now i should slowly be getting coal right no you're not gonna max output 74 rf no okay whatever so the assumption was, did I bring a chest? How come I'm never prepared? 
That really sucks. The assumption was that it was never going to, uh... It was going to leave all the Venus garbage, like the subsurface rock and all that kind of stuff, right? It was going to leave it all for me, because I don't want it. Psh. Can't do nothing with it, right? I wanted it to leave it all. And then, you know, only, only get me the ores. So this is kind of not what I want, but it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, because this is not... Hmm. Why did you stop, is the question. Why? No power? What's going on? Im oh, I'm an idiot. Input. There we go. 74 RF. So I should be going up by 1 RF. Yeah, there we go. So it's slowly going to get me all the garbage, right? That's kind of cool that it's leave making grass blocks. In fact, I'm going to definitely use that, maybe, to get grass blocks. Kind of cool. So if I were to dig down right here I could go all the way to bedrock without the world hole upgrade the ender quarry what it does normally on the overworld what it'll do is it'll scan every single block in a giant radius and then if it's something it can mine if it's something it wants it'll take it and replace it with a dirt block right so then that way just imagine for a second this was all the overworld so if you have this beautiful valley you set up the ender quarry up in the sky, and all it'll do is it'll just scan this huge area, and it'll just take the ores. It'll leave stone, it'll leave sand, it'll leave clay, it'll leave dirt, it'll leave trees, it'll leave everything, and it'll just take the ores. Which is nice, right? Hmm, except for, yeah. So it's not used to Venus. So this kind of ruins, ruins my plan. I'm going to let this run for a bit, because, you know, still got a bunch of coal. Dang it. I think I am going to have to ender quarry. I mean, not ender quarry. I'm going to have to quarry by hand. So, just a little pro tip for you. I don't know. Because this isn't galactic science. Because this is extra utilities. Normally, ex normally mods tr kind of sort of interact with each other nicely. So, extra utilities might work as expected on, say, the moon. So, I'm, I, I kind of want to try that out. But because this is for space, right? It's a different mod, so maybe, maybe that's why it's not working. I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed. I really wanted that to work. So that means I have to quarry it out by hand. Hmm. And because you know what, this stuff is kind of garbage, right? Like, what can I do with this? Can I sift it? No, I can smelt it. Okay, can smelt it, and then do what with it? Oh, I can... Ooh. Ooh. The, what? So I can... Sm, I can sift it. That's kind of cool. And then what's Vernstone? Can I... What do I do? You? So Vernstone is nothing then. It's probably probably just a, a build building block. What can I do with Venus surface rock? Okay, lithium, lead, crushed silver. I believe lithium is the thing that I might want for other things, right? So kind of like, oh, shift click. So kind of like, uh, yeah, like this stuff is garbage. So kind of like Mars rock, not super, super useful. Ah, oh, it kind of sucks. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to let this keep running. Maybe I'll go, go down into the basement and quarry some more. Ah, but that lava, that really bothers me. Ooh, maybe... Oh, let's, you know, let's do a little test. Hope. You know what, this is probably going to destroy my base, too. Hmm. Hmm. So it's going to destroy these four blocks, and then it'll probably move on. So, I think we have plenty of time. 
plenty of time to do all the things. Oh, I forgot to say, I haven't, I haven't shown it yet. But so F9, right, brings you up your chunk boundaries, right, on most mods. Don't know why it's gray. But this is the one I usually use, right, because it, it, it lets you see the walls. Now this one, this one I never really knew what it was for. It's blue, right? See up in the sky there? That means chunk. It's loading chunks, right? So like, look at that. See? So this yellow one, the uh, ender quarry is keeping this chunk loaded, right? So yellow. The ender quarry is digging in this chunk, so it's loading this chunk. But the whole other areas, not loaded, right? So then once the ender quarry starts uh, digging this chunk, this little strip here, it'll unload this chunk. So that's what the little blue blue is for. I don't know what the other ones are for. Oh, no. So you like how I got a little bit more prepared, put a little bit of little diamond suit on, right? Just in case mobs come and try to attack me. Oh, um, ooh, let's go look. Wait, no, no, one thing at a time. One thing at a time, smash keys. Where is, I don't want to use my rope ladder because I was going to use that for the, okay, so dangerous. So you go down, you hold shift, and then you can, oh, you can not, oh. Oh, oh, goodness. All right. So let's go check out some lava. Let's eat some food and die here. Oh, 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 no. Oh, stupid. Actually, here's good enough. So, wait, what level are we on? We're on level 25. Yeah, let's let's just quarry out here. Two, three, four. Okay. Good enough. Sure, I'm on, right? But I wanted to try something out. Water bucket, right? You're probably thinking, Smash Keys, what are you doing? Why would you turn lava into obsidian? Obsidian sucks to mine. Well, I agree with you. Maybe I should have tested it. Oh, I can't see. You're right, obsidian does suck to mine, but maybe... What's that scary noise all the time? Maybe it seems to work on everything else? No, no it doesn't. Come on, it's a diamond pick, you should really... Please do five by five. Why did I do the whole, why did I do all the lava? Ooh, see? Psh, lava, Psh. forget about it. Look at that. Lava is no longer a problem to us, right? Can I? So yeah, I, I don't know how much. I think I need, what, like a stack of Venus, the uh, Naquita, right? Just for the quest here. Let me, let me see if I have my quest book on me. One, there we go. Oh, I wonder if I'm quiet. I had the microphone pointed in a in a silly silly direction. So okay, let me see. Can I maybe light this up? There we go. Just in case. All right. Ooh, what what quest? What quest did I do? Oh, I died again. Yeah, forgot about that. Okay, SG Minecraft. Right, open. Starting with the basics, yeah, I need 64 Naquita, which means I need 64 Venus Crystals. Naquita. Yeah, right? So I need 64 Venus Crystals. That lava is really going crazy, right? Funny thing. I don't know if anyone's ever watched, you know, I'm sure you've watched Stargate. I watched, used to watch Stargate all the time. Oh, oh is that? Nope, sulfur. But in the series, nobody actually explains where the word Naquita comes from, right? Because in the movies, they were just saying some kind of quartz. They were like, oh, it's some kind of quartz ore. Oh. They were saying it was some kind of quartz ore, and they never actually kind of explained it. And then, bam, episode one happens, right? Uh, Children of the Gods, great episode. That yeah, wasn't great. 
So bam, children of the gods. And then all of a sudden, by episode two, they're just talking about like, oh yeah, we got uh, Nakoda does this, Nakoda does that. I'm like, where are you learning? Where are you getting all this information? I am excited. You know what? I wish they made another Stargate television show. I know that's not a popular opinion because, you know, nobody freaking watched the last one they made. Come on, guys. Huh? But it was, it was good. I liked it. Uh, filmed in Vancouver, right? Good old, good old Canada. Ooh, actually, if you ever watch that show, Stargate SGU, the, uh, the, the fat guy who plays Eli Wallace, he lost a whole lot of weight. Like, a, a silly, a silly amount of weight. I mean, good for him, right? He looks healthier now, right? Being, being thin and all. But it's because I saw him on a, I think it was a A&W commercial or a Wendy's commercial or whatever. Filmed it, filmed in Canada. But, uh, yeah, he's very skinny and it's, it's very startling. It's like, um, it's like, God rest his soul. Uh, if you saw James Doohan, Scotty, Scotty lost a bunch of weight, right? You'd be like, mm, that's not normal. It's not how I remember you, Scotty. Man. I'm never going to get to do anything in this game. Like, should I go down further? Hmm. If anyone knows how to find Venus or please do not keep that information to yourself. Okay? Share it. Share and share alike. Too much. Man, this pick makes you so hungry. I should have brought way more apples. Um, that was a mistake. Oh, 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 I'm starving. I'm dying. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm eating. It's one of those things where I, I really don't want to look it up. You know? Like, I, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't say no if, if somebody told me. But I feel like a lot of a lot of Minecraft mod pack. I wonder if I'm going to drop in the lava. A lot of Minecraft mod packs and what have you. You they rely pretty pretty heavily on the fact that you're going to use the wiki. You know, like they don't really explain to you what's going on. They're just like, all right, here's here's a mod pack. Have fun. And you're like, well, okay, what the heck, Botania or uh, Thomcraft? Nobody really, nobody really explains, you know? Which I, I find very strange. Very upsetting. Single block. Very upsetting. Because, you know, you can't really get ahead. In, unless you either scrub the wiki or scrub the... Scrub the forums, right? Like, uh, currently, Porphyro and I are playing... I'm going to walk right into lava. Oops. Currently, Porphyro and I are playing... Uh, hypovolemia which uh definitely if you haven't seen it go check it out on my other on um, it's a ongoing series it's another hqm mod pack it's actually made by the same uh, creators of this mod pack kathleen and them Kath Kath kathleen right is that blaze hello it's, it's really fun but the thing is a lot of it oh, a lot of it uh, we end up just kind of messing around and we don't know what's going on until some nice commenter, actually the mod pack creator herself, or his self. Uh, you know what? I can't really. His or her name is uh, Kathleen on on Twitter. That To me, that sounds like a, a girl's name, right, Kathleen? But then their name is Renee, so, and, but that could be a girl's name. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, they, they, they'll comment. He or she will comment that... Uh, it's like, oh yeah, just do this. Oh yeah, just do this with the blood. Oh, do this with the blood pack. Oh, you have to do this. You have to shift right click with the, uh, the, the, this tool in your inventory. So, I mean, it's a lot of, it's a lot of you have to know, to know, you know? Which I kind of, you know, I, I kind of don't appreciate. Same thing with this mod pack, because I swear, if, if it turns out 
if it turns out uh, what I think is going to happen, it's going to be like, oh yeah, you just have to uh, head to a, there's Venus temples and you can only get the crystals from Venus temples or, oh, you can only trade with uh, villagers for Venus chip. You know what I mean? I feel like that would kind of bother me. Not, you know, not too much. Not like, not like I'm going to, you know, rage quit or nothing. But I am really liking this mod pack. Um, find it a bit grindy at times. But I mean, what kind of... Well, mod pack isn't, you know? Can I maybe just do this really quick? No? There we go. Is that... You done? Thank you. Yeah. I think it's real fun. I am, I'm so excited to go to the Earth. Go see, go fix it. Go fix the earth. Whew. It's dangerous playing with fire. I'm so excited to uh, build a space base, right? Build bases on all the planets. Build stargates for all the planets. I hope they're not too expensive. That'll, that'll bother me. Something fierce. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. There we go. I feel like I'm going to live here on Venus until I find all the, like, right, like, R, block of Venus crystal. Yeah, I see Venus crystal or Slindium or Kathleenium, right? Yeah, I can't, can't get it. Can I get it from R? No. So block of Venus crystal, yeah. So somewhere, somewhere on Venus, oh, Venus iron, dang it. Got my hopes up. So somewhere on Venus is this stupid ore. Hmm. Hmm. Not impressed. I'm really liking the gravity, though. Venus and Earth having very similar gravities. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else is like a, an astrophysicist. An astro astro astronomy person in their spare time. I, I like it. I like I like space stuff. So that's why I was so excited to play this mod pack. But, uh, huh? Oh, yeah. I just, I just blocked up a lot of those tunnels. I feel like they're very close. No, I wanted to go here and get rid of my ores, right? Yeah. And that, and that obsidian. I'm not going to need it. Not going to need it. Let's take a little nap. Why's my face turned around? Hello? There we go. Let's go check on that quarry, eh? I feel like this is going to be a very short episode because I do want to do a bunch of quarrying. Oh, well, look at you go. Ooh. Ooh. So, can I get, it, get in here? 13 or 1130. 30. Venus coal, Venus ruby, Venus tin. Yep. Are you done? Yeah. Freaking heck. So, as you can see. Oh, you know what I did? That's what this is. This is a barrel full of charcoal. Shh. Not a smart man. That's why I brought these. So I go in, and then extract always. There we go. Now, now it should work. It is going to kind of bisect my base, but I don't care. Who cares? Who cares anymore, right? Man. Hmm. That's, I feel like it must be, oh, you know what? Is it down these Venusian tunnels? Where was the closest one? That one seems far away. There we go. There's a closer one. Oh, there's an even closer one. Please down there. Let's go kill him. Ah, ah. Oh, okay. I made a mistake. Come here. Come here. Oh, okay. What did I get? What did I get? Ooh, a Venus rod, hey? Actually, let me let me get some air. I did not look at you. Oh, do I have air? I have my backup ones. Backup backups. There we go. Hmm. 
We're breathing that air. Okay, Venus Rod. What? Please, Venus Rod Dust. K. Okay. Venus Power Crystal, Venusian TNT. Psh. Worthless. Worthless. Okay, Rope Ladder. Hopefully this will work. Can I maybe do this? Venus dungeon brick. Are there? Is this a dungeon down here? What? I was supposed to work. Why did that not work? Maybe because I was in the way. I was probably in the way. All right. Can I do something with you? Can I right pick? Punch you? Oh, what do I do with you? Do I hatch these? Am I their mom? Okay. Does that mean blazes are going to come for me now? Oh. Oh, there's something down there. Why did I jump? All right, dungeon time. No, down, no, this way. Up here, what's this? Well, um, I am very disappointed. This is the second episode. I've been very, very disappointed. Uh, let me ladder out of here. No, how do I? Let's just pillar. Can I? Where's, where's my base? Up here? I really wish uh, the maps was a thing. Are you still going? Yep, slowly. Slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. Alright, so, people, I'm very, I'm very sorry. I'm very disappointed. The last two episodes, I feel, I felt like I was gonna do a lot more, you know, get a lot more stuff accomplished. I actually was kind of under the assumption that I'd be able to get enough Venusian crystals to do Stargates. Nope, no such luck. So, I hope I hope in the next ep by the next episode, I'll quarry out a whole bunch of stuff, right? Quarry out a huge area. That way, I never have to come back to Venus ever again. You know? That's my preference. But, um, okay. So, this is going out on, so oh, a little moonwalking going on there. Look at that. A little dancer. So this episode's going out on the sun on Sunday, right? Let me just let me just take a quick peek. Yes. So this is going out on Sunday, and I don't know how much I'll be able to play of this next, because I, I do have some other stuff I want to do, right? But I'm definitely gonna come back and try to quarry for a couple hours, maybe an hour or two, right? Put on a podcast and just listen to listen to a podcast and do some quarrying. But uh, poor Fyro and I are actually starting another Minecraft series. I know, I know so much Minecraft, all the Minecraft. But we're going to start playing Magic Farm 3 Harvest starting on Monday. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.